The topic of pollution has transformed from an afterthought largely ignored as a first world problem to something that is constantly being talked about by both the media and by internet users. It's one of the main problems being brought up at this year's National People's Congress and the Chinese Premier Li Keqiang provided an outlined initiative in how the government will deal with the challenge. The Premier described China's reforms as having entered a deep water zone and that they must break down the barriers of vested interests with great determination. And now let's take a look at what Chinese Weibo users had to say about this story. I think the government is starting to take environmental issues more seriously, and I believe that with enough pressure from the central government, the local governments will finally start to act instead of just talk. The government needs to first get rid of the environmental departments that get paid but do nothing. China has a lot of useless government departments that are a leech on our society, and we need to get rid of them. The government should give more support to private companies that deal in the environmental protection sector. With enough help, the private sector will be able to clean up the environment and create a new booming industry. New clean energy is key to China's pollution problems. We need to invest more in new energy sources and stop burning so much coal. If we can become less dependent on petro, then we will become less restricted to the politics of other countries. The Premier described China's smog problems as a red light warning from nature itself. While speaking to delegates from the MPC, he pledged that the country will limit coal use, increase reliance on hydropower, start constructing new nuclear plants and develop deposits of natural gas. There is also a target to reduce emissions by as much as 5% this year and cut energy consumption per unit of economic growth by 3.9 percent. However, despite the numbers, spending on environmental protection has dropped by almost 10 percent last year to 30 billion dollars. And according to the Ministry of Finance, only 86 percent of the budget was actually used. The budget this year is estimated to be 35 billion. <laughs> 